Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your April 2021 love reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag. What's going on, you guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. Turn on that notification bell. You may want to try resetting it, turn it off, and then turn it back on to uh, all notifications. Uh, that seems to help. I know some people aren't getting notifications. Uh, what else? Uh, this is general, so if it doesn't resonate, maybe next time. Hopefully it will. It's general, but if it does, the link to the extended reading is right below where we're going to dive a little bit deeper and find out a little bit more. See how your person feels about you. Right now, I'm not offering private readings, you guys. So if you are approached, it's not me. It's a big fat scammer. I wish they'd pay my bills as well as try to read my tarot. All right. I will do uh, private readings in the future, but right now they're on hold. Mom's trying to catch up. All right. Let's see what's up. The link to the decks that I'm using tonight are also in the description box. All right. Let's look at your past. Oh, okay, Ten of Pentacles. How you doing? What's going on right now? It's the current energy, the world. Person you're connecting with or thinking about, what's on their mind? The Six of Cups. How does this person view you, Sagittarius? The Five of Wands. How do they feel about you deep down? What's going on in their emotions? The Four of Wands. How do they want to move forward? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so if you're on a break from someone, this is how they feel about reconciling. If you're currently connecting with someone or will be in April, this is how they plan on moving forward. What's coming in that you don't see? The Seven of Pentacles. Advice from the Tarot, what is it? The Sun, isn't that a pretty Sun card? I like it, Leo energy. What's your outcome, Sagittarius? What do we have? We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. All right, interesting reading. I'm gonna see what the hell is going on here, Sagittarius. We are, we're gonna uncover here on the FBI channel. That's what I should have named my channel, the FBI channel for tarot. Is there one? I bet there is. All right, let's see, Sagittarius, April 2021. What does Sagittarius need to know about their love life? April 2021. They view you, Sagittarius, as um, being conflicted. They may, this person, okay, so if you're already connecting with someone or will, like if this is a new connection in April, they may view you as um, wanting to date other people or you're very busy. The five of wands can actually be very busy. Like you got a lot going on. You know, it can be conflict or drama or something like that. So we're going to dive in and see what this is about. On their mind is the six of cups though. Interesting. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, one more shuffle. So I always pre-shuffle, but I like to do a few during the reading. All right, let's do it. Let's see what love looks like for Sag in April. All right, in the past between you and this person or in your love life in general, we have a 10 of Pentacles. Why is this here in the past with Sagittarius? What do we have? The Nine of Cups in reverse. Some of you are married to this person and just felt emotionally drained, right? You just not happy, not able to manifest what you want. Dreams aren't coming in. For, there are a small portion of you that maybe you were connected with somebody that was married. And so you couldn't manifest a connection. What is this? Yeah, see, so I have a Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you are that Queen of Swords in reverse. You left somebody. You cut somebody off. You may have said F you and your dog on the way out. Or this is the person they were dealing with. So just however it fits. Tell me who this Queen of Swords in reverse is. Yeah, there's an ending. The world. Somebody could have been quite hurt in the past here, but it was around, it looks like, a marriage or a long-term relationship. Right now we have the world. Again, why is this here? With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, two major arcana, so big changes. Yeah, ending something because it's just like, oh, this repetitive cycle. Like, it's not changing. It's not, it's not moving in the direction that I want. Why is this here? Why is the wheel in reverse? The two of wands. So now it's time to pick a new path, but you're not really sure. Do I go left? Do I go right? Someone's got a decision to make here. On this person's mind, Sag is the Six of Cups. Why? And the Emperor. Yeah, some of you have children with this person. 
The emperor can be a husband, a father. We've got Aries energy. That six of cups on their mind is, is nostalgia. It's good memories, nice memories. It can also be children. As you can see in this deck, there's two kids, six of cups, nurturing family and children. Um, this person wants to regain control. Could be a little bit stubborn, a little bit controlling, but he's in the upright. You know, this is all about bringing order back to a situation getting rid of chaos. How do they view you? Five of wands. Why? The six of cups. Wow. Six of cups twice. That's interesting. What's this five of wands and the six of cups? Why is this here? Because of the knight of wands. There you are, Sagittarius. This doesn't have to be reality. It's just their perception. Some of them think that you or some of you are talking to somebody from your past. Maybe interested in somebody from your past. What's this Knight of Wands? Or they're afraid of that. The sun. Healing. The Knight of Wands is also exiting, you guys. They don't want to be in a, in a commitment. They don't. This person looks at you as non-committal. Their energy is, let's let's bring this back together. There's an ending or somebody's threatening an ending or something like that. We've got choices to make here. And they view you as, as, you know, calling the water Uber, although we don't see it yet. And trying to get your happiness back and heal. If you're not married to this person, this is just what's going on in the connection or will be in April. Okay, it doesn't have to be a marriage. Bottom line, I'm getting, they want something serious and stable. They're missing you or they, they don't want this to, to end for some reason. And they view you as getting on that horse and, and just riding away, wanting to travel physically, metaphorically. How do they feel deep down? The four of wands, why? And the hanged man, yeah, they're waiting. This four of wands is something to celebrate. It's joy and harmony. It could certainly be a marriage, a long-term relationship. What's this four of wands and the hanged man, Pisces energy, and the ace of pentacles? See, they want that new beginning. They still value the connection. If this is a newer connection or this is coming in April, because remember, this could be futuristic, right? It's April. It's not right this second. Time's fluid. This is somebody that you meet and you're just like, oh, I'm not really feeling it, but they are for sure. And they're kind of just waiting around. Well, maybe... Sagittarius will change from that Knight of Wands and want to settle down. They certainly value the connection. They want to plant that seed of that Ace of Pentacles and, and take care of it and watch it grow into something very long-term. Commitment. All right. How do they feel moving forward? How do they see the two of you moving forward? Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Wands. This is Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands about... What is it? The Hermit in Reverse. See? For, for some of you, if, if for, Sag, for those Sag, Sages that have met someone and it's kind of been on and off, on and off, this could certainly be because they are married. They're in a long-term relationship and you're not about that. You're like, see you later. For those Sages, you're doing the right thing because it could be this queen of pentacles in reverse moving forward is a wife or is, you know, husband. it's just energy, but it's, you know, the energy of someone else. Often she's a mother or a wife. We've got that four of wands right on top of her, which could certainly be, you know, a marriage, a relationship. And then with the hermit in reverse could be that you were talking to somebody and they went back to a wife or a husband or an ex or something like that. For those of you that that isn't your storyline, they want you back, and you're just kind of like, Ugh, I'm not really feeling this. It was fun, but see ya. So that's what I'm getting. What's coming in that you don't see? Seven of Pentacles. And the Strength card. A lot of waiting. Somebody's waiting. If you're the Sag that you've been dealing with, somebody that's married and kind of, you know, never really put you first, that's the energy that's coming through April. It's more kind of like reflecting on the past, waiting. It's like, God, I put in all this energy. You know, and here they are with a family or something like that. And the strength card says, I'm waiting, 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 because somebody's holding back for swords in reverse. There's a small number of you, and it may not even be that small, but you definitely connected with someone or did connect, and they went back to like a wife or something. They may have said they were separated or they were separated, and they went back to someone. If that's you, that's not going to change in April. I'm sorry to say. 
for uh, the Sages that were just kind of casually dating someone or, or even long term, you know, maybe you were married, maybe you're in a long term relationship and you just decided you didn't want to, you know, uh, I just, I, I want to be free. Like, I don't really want to be in this anymore. I don't want to be in a long term relationship. This person is still giving that energy of, I want Sag back and they're still going to try to get you back. I've got return energy all over here. So they're either returning to you or they've left you out in the cold and returned to someone else. You'll know how that, you'll know how that fits. Um, your advice is the sun healing Leo energy. Very happy with the nine of swords. The sun is also what it's bringing illumination. It's making something very, very clear. The sun's out so you can see clearly, right? And with the nine of swords, this could certainly be some fear, some anxiety with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Tarot is telling you If you're that Sag that you just were never like put first, basically, they're telling you, see that clearly. Like this person will still probably try to kind of contact you at some point, but they're definitely like, there's another energy here that they're dealing with. They want you to see that and they want you to heal. Heal from what? Well, the worry, the anxiety, the fear, you know, all this stuff, the, the late nights where you're just thinking about it constantly. Because somebody's just not, somebody's being lazy with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. For those of you that you're the one that's like, Ugh, I just, I don't want to be in a long-term commitment. They're telling you you're doing the right thing, right? Because it, it's just going to cause you too much angst. Is that a word? Angst? Um, you know, get your happiness back. And remember, this person sees you with that sun here. They either see you as wanting to heal this because they they have somebody else. They've gone back to someone else. Or they see you as the Sag that just wants to be free, non-committal, and happy. And you've got the High Priestess here. So see, she can certainly be a secretive female. <clears throat> if you're not into um, somebody who really wants to lock this down with you and you just kind of want to date and be free and that kind of thing, they're absolutely saying you're doing the right thing. Just keep yourself closed off here. Um, the outcome, we have a Knight of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy, what's this about? And the two of swords blocking someone out. There's a blockage here. That knight of cups in reverse is like, take my cup. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm going to take it back. Take it. I'm going to take it back. Somebody's doing that to somebody here. It can be jealousy as well. Um, again, for those of you that have kind of dated someone or you were married and you're just kind of leaving that behind, you want to get out there and date and stuff. This person, you know, could be a little bit jealous because the two of swords is somebody's getting blocked out here. Two of Swords is, you know, it's it's rejection or blockage, but it's also, oh, man, I got to make a decision, but I, I just don't know what to do. See, about the Ten of Cups. If Again, if you're the Sag where somebody was kind of playing you along here and they're married or in a long-term commitment, it's still happening. All that marital or long-term commitment is in the upright still, and somebody gets blocked off here, blocked out. Right, and it's kind of like, ah, uh, I, I don't see it, I don't hear it. It's kind of wanting to ignore it, but knowing you have to kind of take off that blindfold because there's that taking back of the emotion. What's this Ten of Cups and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy? Wow, this is an interesting reading. I haven't had a reading like this for Saj in a long time. Y'all's readings have been very like commitment and relationship, like they've been very, very positive. Um, I'm not seeing an all-out, like, love connection here for April. you got Virgo, Gemini, and Andrew. What are we manifesting here, though? What is this? The Five of Cups in reverse. Regardless of which story you're on here, Sag, somebody's still, like, ugh. Somebody's still going to try to be around you. But it's just, for some of you, it's about a long-term commitment. And for others of you, they're in a long-term commitment. What are we doing with the Five of Cups in reverse? What is this? Yeah, see the Empress, Libra, Taurus, energy. She could be a wife or a mother. Somebody's trying to fix something with a wife or is trying to create that long-term relationship. Again, you'll know which side you fall on. You've got an Empress and an Emperor. There's a husband, father, mother. Mother, father, husband, wife, divine masculine and feminine. They rule their empire. They're nurturing, they're grounded. They're typically married. And if you're the Sag that was married for a long time or in that long-term relationship and you've left this person because you just kind of want to be free, uh-uh. 
they're not gonna let you go so easily. Somebody's not letting someone go so easily here. Why is the emperor on this person's mind? The knight of swords. So the knights tend to come and go, right? They're in pursuit of something. Very, very fast energy. You got Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius. What's this knight of swords on this person's mind? The nine of wands in reverse. Person feels like they don't have a leg to stand on. Why? Kind of like saying, screw it. I can't fight for this because of the six of wands. They want victory with you or they're getting vic they're taking off and getting victory somewhere else. There this is a very like black and white reading. It's very much about somebody wanting a long-term relationship. But it's there's no balance here. And again, you're either on the side of I just want to be free and I don't want to date and they're like all up in you. Like they want to lock it down or they're heading out because they've like reconnected with someone or something serious, something long-term. And that's not gonna change, unfortunately. Give me one card of advice for Sagittarius uh, for April, 2021. We have justice, balance. It's funny that that came out since I just talked about there's a lack of balance here. Something's one-sided and justice says, bring it back together. Make a choice or a decision, very important one in your life that brings you, it takes those scales and brings balance to your life. This can be contracts within marriage. Again, I just get the sense somebody, you know, this is a, somebody's married in this situation and either wants out or is going back to another marriage is what I'm getting. All right, in the extended reading, we'll dive a little bit deeper. We'll see how this person truly feels about you. What are their intentions? And we'll get some more advice for you guys. See what their next move is gonna be. All right, Sagittarius, love you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon. Take care.